guys are welcome back are you not there good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from i hope you guys are very much doing okay so try as much as possible to comment invite your friends your loved ones your enemy whatsoever guys invite them we are one big family so in this video we're going to be discussing about davido and choma issue versus stewart savage and sophia then we're going to talk about mommy z a trendy topic on Nigeria social media space currently. But firstly, let's discuss about Israel. Israel is warning everyone to stay away from his wife. Israel said, dearest men, stay away from Stella. Stay away from a legally married woman, especially the ones from a dual state. Don't get yourself into trouble because of just five minutes pleasure. Pity your loved ones at least. If you are not pitying yourself, people shouldn't always believe they are smart. People shouldn't always believe they would always eat their cake and still have it back. Move on what? Have each times. Israel is warning men who might think of getting under the skirt of her husband, of his ex-wife to stay away from her because in Nigeria, in some community in Nigeria, there is what we call Jakbaje. Yes, that is how some community call it. Jakbaje. It will trap you. It's going to trap you. Hmm? If you are going out with a married woman, something, something might happen to you. He said that you are going backward financially or maybe something horrible like sickness will happen to you. We are able to see some people say if their Jack Thomas will overgrow at, overnight. If Jack Thomas that is as big as this, will grow to be big as this, then you cannot control it in future, in, in public. And it becomes an issue going from one medical facility to another. Or because you decided to sleep with a married woman who their culture or the mass culture do not allow it. So Israel is warning you against it now. Stay away from his wife because they are still legally married despite being separated. Don't say the Israel wife now or no, so so you can just knock. No, stay away. Israel is warning you now. So seller and Israel should do the needful. Seller should return Israel bride price. And the tradition that they did, we did themselves, should be broken first before Cecilia can go on to sleep with whatever man she wants. Israel is making that clear. You might think that Israel is jealous or Israel is, is lying. But if I am you guys and I'm close to Cecilia and I'm a young man that appreciates my life, I will stay away from her. I will not dare. I will stay away from her. Until, oh, I will support her. I will tell her, go and do your tradition well. Go and do the proper thing. Separate from Israel well before we continue or before we start doing any form of entanglement. And that being said, let's talk about Israel boss, Davido. Davido is currently enjoying his time on vacation with his wife, Choma. David don't want to be a changed man. In fact, he's begging to be a changed man. But it seems like because of his past, uh, the past things that he has done, they don't want to allow him to change. Hmm? Now, Tiwa Savage has been drawn into the mess. Tiwa Savage and David Do first baby mama, Sophia, are very good friends. And when David Do was very, very free, Celebrating all the bad days for his kids, doing all those stuff. Imadi and Tiwasabi's son are very, very close. They are like one big family. Something, something, something happened. Sophia Momodo has been expressing her frustration online about how David is no longer a good father, is no longer caring. But we already know David did so much then. But David wasn't able to continue doing it because. A man must surely settle down. A man must surely get married. That is for spending and spending on baby mamas. 
had to stop. Well, the widow stopped it and the other baby mamas are not happy. So guess what? Sophia the other day was asked, why are you no longer showing your body online again? You flaunting those bikinis. Sophia said, I know that that for my personal snap and it's zero Nigeria on it. Y'all don't deserve me. Sophia Mamodo has never done anything for Nigeria. So when she said Nigeria do not deserve her, I honestly do not understand where it's coming from. It's what you are doing for people. I don't know if your bikini is going to help people's life. That's why you say Nigeria do not deserve your bikini snap. <laughs> well, guess this. Well, guess what? Someone said, after seeing David Do and Choma with their twins, Sophia Mamodu, go the film now. They should reply. Now, wow. 10,000 women and 15,000 children. Later, you people are still calling my name. Leave this smelly steak rich be behavior in 2023. Make you not move on. Rest. I know I give your life, but God damn, move on. You are so weird with this fake narrative. 10,000 women and 15,000 baby and children. How is that possible? Every Nigerian entertainer knows where every Nigerian entertainer, every fan should know this. Those entertainers say, they are low-key or low so it's just that they have money. Even the women self. Those entertainer men. So there is nothing David has done that is uh, in new stuff when it comes to entertainment. Having about a three baby mamas and having a wife with uh, two kids. Although it's not what I have a wish for on, on any man, but it's not something that's new. David is even is able to try. Go and check future. Go and check some rappers to see how they will have like 10 baby mamas. You know? Well, it's only God that know the transaction between Sophia and David Do. What David Do promised Sophia that's making her really, really angry over the way. Because if you made a promise to a woman that you love that woman and so many other stuff, well, I don't know what's happening. But I wish them all the best. But I don't know how Tiwa Savage came into the whole issue. I think Tiwa Savage and David Do are currently unfollowing each other. Well, I'm very much sure it's not about business. I'm very much sure it's not about any other stuff than family. And it has to do with Sophia Mamadou. Now, let's talk about Mommy Z. Mommy Z is trending currently in Nigeria social media space after she revealed that she wakes up as early as 4.50 a.m. to prepare breakfast for her husband after she discovered after her husband revealed to her that a colleague in his work a female colleague usually bring food to his work for them to eat the woman said ah like, like i'm not going to wait and allow another woman snatch my husband and guess what she did she decided from that day onward that she will be waking up as early as four 50 to prepare meal for her husband and after she revealed that feminists online crazy girls online crazy women blast the hell out of her they been strolling her calling her slave to her husband but <laughs> blessings in disguise god decided to shower sprinkles of blessing on mom z and guess what mom z has received some amount, fridge, cars, money amounted to five million, two million, phones, scholarship, uh, uh, new work, job opportunities, business ideas, so many other stuff. Momizi and her husband has received so far. So this was the tweet Momizi sent. She said. I've always been too lazy to wake up and get his lunch ready. But the day he told me a colleague brought two spoons so he will eat with her was the day I set my alarm for 4.50 a.m. I feel men will understand better. She just resumed there. She saw he wasn't bringing food and suddenly brought spoon. 
He came back home and told me about how she's been extra friendly. I decided to try start try to start packing his lunch before he falls for the friend Liz. Not only did this woman prepare, prepare pre breakfast, she also packed the man's lunch. The man will eat at home as early as six or seven, and then she will pack the man's lunch that she's going to eat. So there's no excuse for that man to eat outside. Some other women will be like, how dare you eat outside? How dare you eat another woman's food outside? Even if I'm not cooking for you in the morning, won't you pay patience? Won't you are we not part of the family? I will not this, I will not that. Start making excuses. Mommy Z never made excuses. She was immediately swift to actions. Unlike those feminists, unlike those women. Women, what we would talk in someone will call me now to talk rubbish. Well, Mommy Z has received a lot of money from Kuda Bank, Ifinis Fund. Some banks are still about to donate to free one year free health care insurance for herself, her husband, and her family. Her husband got a brand new job and also a scholarship. Mommy Z also got a brand new job, well paid. Eh? He did get the fumble. The crazy thing about it is that all those blessings are coming the month of January, one of the hardest months in the year. And you are there, you're going to be fumbling again. Yeah.